Hey guys, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change your Linux hostname using the terminal. Okay, so I'm using a version of Mint right now. I'm gonna go ahead and log in actually. Now, the reason why I'm showing you from the main login screen is if you notice, my hostname here is displayed in the top left. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to see the new hostname as well at the same time. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. And obviously, we're going to go ahead and open the terminal right after. So I'm going to wait for this to initialize. All right, so I specifically set this virtual machine up for this video. So let's go ahead and get rid of the login screen. I'm going to go open my terminal up right now. And let's go ahead and since the files we're editing is going to be requiring root permissions, I'm going to go ahead and go to my root right now so go ahead and enter in your password sudo su first and then let's go ahead and see our current host name obviously like i said earlier my current host name is simply rafael dash new host name and we can also check and get the same result if we go ahead and do um cat or cat slash etc slash host name we should get the same result that's the file all right so we're gonna go ahead and edit this file. And like I said before, we need root permissions. So if you have done what I said earlier, you simply just do nano, which is a text editor, and we're gonna do slash etc slash hostname. If you're not in root, then you will have to simply do sudo and then nano slash etc slash hostname. But that's only if you're not in root, okay? If you've already done that, just simply leave that out and then just enter. Now you'll see the host name that we currently have right over here. We can change it to whatever we want to. So I'm going to simply call mine, let's see, updated host name. Call yours whatever you fancy. I'm simply going to call mine Raphael, which is my name, dash updated host name just to keep things simple. Now you may also, I also want to keep, I also want to like emphasize that Make sure that your ho your host name is like case sensitive because we're gonna also update another file. So keep in mind whatever you capitalize. Okay. So now we can Control X to save this. It will ask you to save the modified buffer. Type in Y, and then it will ask you the file name to write. Leave it the way it is. Do not change anything. Just press Enter. Okay. Now if we go ahead and do um cat again we can see the updated host name unlike earlier. Now, like I said before, we have one more um, file to edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and open a new terminal. Oops, new window, just so I don't I don't confuse anybody, okay? So let's go ahead and do sudo su, because we're gonna open up a new terminal. We have to enter root again. Now let's go ahead and do nano slash etc slash hosts. All right, and then enter. So here we have a couple lines, all right? And the only thing we have to really edit is any instance that contains our old host name. So recalling on our other um, terminal, we edited Raphael-new hostname to Raphael-updated hostname. So what I'm gonna do is navigate. So I'm using my arrow keys to navigate this. And let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my terminal up as well, just so you can see the all the um, uh, combinate key combinations that you can use for nano. Let's go ahead and edit this. So I'm going to call mine updated host name. All right. Now we make sure, like I said before, it's case sensitive. So make sure your um, capitalizations are correct. So mine is capital U and capital H. Now I'm going to control X to save. And now if we do cat slash etc slash hosts, you can see our um, updated host name has been set. So now once you've got the down, make sure our virtual box, or I'm sorry, make sure our virtual box is set. All right, now let's go ahead and reboot. Now, obviously I'm doing mine in virtual box, so <laughs> don't worry about it. What I did earlier, I'm just making sure I showed it to the viewers. Simply enter that on your main operating system. Wait for your computer to reboot. Just the, chain, the changes take effect. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and observe what happens now on the top left. Like I zoomed in earlier to show you the host name. 
And now we're back in our familiar login screen. And if you look at the top, now it is updated to the new host name I set. So I'm going to go ahead and log in right now and show you some more of the... I'm going to show you in the terminal as well. So wait for it to load. All right, let's go ahead and load up our terminal. Get rid of that alert up here. Oops. Sorry, just the whole like welcome screen is annoying when you first install Linux Mint. So, but let's go back to, and let's do hostname. And now you can see our hostname is updated. Now if we do cat slash etc slash hosts, our hostname is also updated. So there you go. You have updated your hostname successfully. Raphael out and hopefully this video helped you out and I will see you in my next video. Obviously comment down below if you have, if you have any extra questions, but hopefully this helped you out and I will see you soon.